Hi, this is Thomas from the Babington family. And together with me today, I have Jonas Kildegaard, which is head of press and communication, right? That's correct. Um, today, we want to talk about how to build up this stadium, because when we started early yesterday, it was all empty. Mm. So what is the first thing that we want to focus on here in this arena? Well, when we are going to set up in the arena like this, when it's totally empty, then we start with uh, getting the, the lights up so that, um, yeah, how do you say, that uh, we from there can build up the arena below. So we don't have to uh, get all those trucks and stuff uh, going on the on the um, on the floor and the courts uh, because then the lights already up. So that will be the first task. Yeah, and that was what we saw yesterday that they were building the light and and this early morning the floor the work of of the floor is starting. Mm. How do you plan all this? Did you know? Of course, you knew from the from the beginning that it was light the first, and now we go for the floor. But do you have a plan for all days until the tournament starts? Yeah, we do. Some of my colleagues are very good at scheduling a setup like this. Uh, so they are um, scheduling uh, which things to do on which days. So uh, yeah, it's a daily a daily program for, for every day. And is, is everything going as planned, yeah, as you yeah. can see now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Also, we have only been uh, here for for one day, but yeah, uh, yeah everything is going good. <laughs> everything is going good. Yes. And what what is the deadline for being finished? When do the players come in here and, and train? Is that Friday night or Saturday morning or? Um, if we're going um, to have a look at the plan, they can hopefully get in here Friday afternoon, and uh, the first uh, countries, the first players, can uh, go in and have uh, practice in the main hall. But they uh, will. We, we have to see there's a long time until uh, Friday, but uh, officially on uh, on Saturday as well, there will be a uh, practice here on the on the court and the main uh, main hall. Exciting. And how, how many people are actually working? We saw that around 40, 50 people working yeah. yesterday on the lights. But what about Badminton Denmark? How many people is involved in this project? Yeah, uh, it's a lot. Uh, it's like the whole uh, office of uh, Badminton Denmark and we are like uh, 20 people coming here uh, from day to day and uh, help uh, setting up. Uh, we have a lot of amazing uh, volunteers helping us uh, and uh, uh, when we are counting them in, I think we are at least uh, 50 as well, maybe going up to, uh, to 100 if we are taking everything, uh, not everything, but everyone uh, in, into account. That's, a, that's, that's really a lot. Mm. So everything, everybody is working. And also I went home at 11, something like that last uh, last day. So um, pretty busy. And what about what about uh, the things that are going on? You know, behind the scenes, yeah. I saw that you are preparing um, all the players' lounges, the media mm -hmm. room. So there's a lot going on, you yeah. know, under the crowd, if you can say that. Are you also uh, involved in that setting up all the different meeting rooms and stuff out there? Yeah, for this arena, we actually uh, do everything ourselves. We, uh, if you can say, rent the arena and it's totally empty. So we have to uh, put everything in into the rooms. And we have, as you said, the players lounge. We have the media center. We have um, booths and meeting rooms and stuff like that. Uh, so we have to put uh, furniture and uh, stuff into every room. And uh, it's going from uh, <laughs> zero to 100 <laughs> okay. uh, during these uh, five days. So when I say that, it's uh, also... Uh, um, yeah, a lot of volunteers and uh, uh, the total staff of Batman and Denmark helping here. Uh, it's also because there's, uh, of course, a lot of uh, assignments to uh, to solve. Um, yeah, and when the spectators come here, they can see the arena. They can say, okay, it's four courts. How difficult can that be? <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> because there's a lot of things going on beside the seats. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Need this, sorry. Pretty amazing to be part of here. Mm. But uh, thanks a lot for giving us some small insights into what's actually going on. We will of course cover a lot of different videos from inside the arena, mm. from outside, and of course also when the tournament starts, we can't wait to to get going. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Let's see some more footage of how we build up the arena with the lights, the floor, the backstage area. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hey.